I'm going to have to assign one of you to Daryl Nielsen. I'll nurse him. Very good, Steve. Is it multiple sclerosis? Daryl, there's no point in jumping to conclusions. You have to wait till the final diagnosis, but... Well, we can't run it out. Steve. Well, how far's it going to spread? I'm not going to end up in a wheelchair, am I? What are you trying to do, scare him to death? You go one step further and I'll report you. And just what is it you're going to report? I want a piece of you, little brother. Yeah, what have I done this time? I don't appreciate you running a sweepstake on my fidelity. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. But betting on whether you're going to keep your pants on, it's easy money. I'm going to kill you. Why me? It was Honey's idea. And there were no shortage of punters either. Half the clinic had money on last night's little event. I did not sleep with Andrea. Oh, chivalry. Nice touch. Look, she lost her keys. She didn't have anywhere to go. And they were down the couch under a cushion problem. Yeah, that's where they... You mean what? So, there is dear delectable Andrea, no home to go to, it's getting late. Naturally, you gave her a bed for the night. And I slept on the couch. Sure, Melanie might believe that. I love Melanie, and I'm not playing around with Andrea or anybody else. But you were tempted? Just a little bit. Oh, shut up. Oh, we were just talking about who's going to stick the garbage out at home. So, what were you going to report? Nothing, nothing. It was just a joke. There are times when you truly try my patience. In future, keep your domestic arguments where they belong. Yes, Miss Burton. We will. Thanks, Sally. And look about Daryl. I don't want to hear. And I don't want to hear you talk to a patient like that again. Come on, the man was asking questions. I didn't say anything. Like exactly. That. Look, Daryl was imagining life in a wheelchair and you just stood there and let him. It was deliberate. And it was cruel. Yeah, well... You reckon what he did to Kirsty wasn't cruel? And I'm sure Miss Burton would think that makes it perfectly okay. Fine. Go ahead and report me. But I didn't say anything that technically wasn't true. Right, you can hide behind the letter of the law. But you were terrorising him, Steve, and, and that doesn't make it right. Nothing you can say will make it right. I don't understand why you're protecting this scumbag. Hey, I don't give a toss about Daryl. But we can't go around deciding on who we're going to treat properly and who we're not. Hey, we're nurses, remember, not judges. Just get your act together, Steve. Do it now. What have we got? MVA on the coast road. No sign of alcohol, just lost it. Ooh. Injuries. What you see is what you get. Hit his head, knocked out for a couple of minutes. Good name? Hoffman. OK, Mr Hoffman, can you hear me? Mm-hmm. You know where you are? I'm at the hospital. Good. OK, can you squeeze my hand, please? That's good too. Sam? Uh, some bleeding, but BP steady at 1 in 5 over 50. Suspected leg fractures in a couple of places. No, don't. Look, the nurse will take good care of it for you. I've got to keep it. It's life or death. We could lock it up for you. No, let's just leave it. Okay, just relax. Okay, I want x-rays of the uh, skull, the neck, the chest, abdo, and the leg. Right. Let's go. Stuart. Come on, Stuart, get a move on. I want to get this top coat happening. What's stopping you? Start over there. Going like a train, professional job, money in my pocket. Nick, you sure you know what you're doing? Do you see any problems so far? No. And uh, you've got the colours right. Yes, gold and green. Match them to your samples. Hi. Hi. Are you ready? Look, in a minute. You understand the design. It's very important you make sure the colours go in the right places. Would you get her out of here? She's stifling our creativity. <sighs> we promise to be there by six. OK, you go on here. I'm just going to make sure these guys know what they're doing. We know! You've already told me about 12 million times. Yes, but come it's... on, Gina. I mean, you said you wanted me to do here, and you know how many hours that takes. Go, go. Oh, well, don't forget to lock up. We won't. Oh, man, talk about panic, merchant. Yeah, it's her place, mate. She's the boss. And while the boss is away, the workers will play. Want a drink? No, I'm right. What? She doesn't trust me. I wonder why. Are you deliberately torturing me? Pardon? That seems standard around here. What do they say?
basically nothing. As far as we can tell at this point, everything's normal. Oh, please. I can understand test results, you know. We've done blood counts, normal. IgG, normal. CSF, normal. Is that any help? Oh, you know damn well it isn't. I'm sick and I want to know why. You should understand that diagnosis is a process of elimination. Without further tests, I'd be jumping to conclusions. I'm sorry. Can you just make an educated guess? I won't hold you to it. Well, you realise these are just possibilities? Yeah. Well, with the variety of your symptoms, it could be any number of things. For example, essential hypertension might be involved, although that's a long-term assessment. The continuing high blood pressure, nausea, dizziness. Well, they suggest a post-viral condition such as vestibular neuritis. Oh. So basically you've got a collection of symptoms searching for a disease. I'm afraid so. So it could all be due to um, my nervous system going haywire, is it? That would be jumping to conclusions. Is multiple sclerosis on the list? It's far too early to be definite. Oh, hell. He's right. One of the doctors? That nurse Mills. He said I had MS. And he's right. It hurts. Yes, I know. I'm very sorry. But until I'm certain that there's no closed head injury, I can't give you anything for it. How long? In neuroscience? So far, so good. No problems. Good. Skull x-ray's clear. Shouldn't be much longer. My leg? Well, the tibia and fibula are very, very badly fractured, so we're going to have to pin them, OK? So you're going to be with us for quite some time. Did they follow me in? Who? Them. The guys in the other car. There wasn't another car, Mr. Hoffman. There was. Not according to the ambulance officer. They ran me off the road. Are you certain of this? Yes, yes, they want my bag. Just relax, Mr. Hoffman. Take it easy. Yes, just take it easy. Do as the nurse says. Let her settle you in and take a full history, OK? No, I've got to keep it. If they come back, it's dangerous. Mr. Hoffman, we're going to be giving you a general anaesthetic, so you can't watch the bag then. How about you let me take care of it, OK? Be careful. Very careful. They want it bad enough to hurt me, they'll hurt you too. Oh, I don't think I'm in any major danger. You think I'm paranoid, don't you? Well, it's not paranoia if the danger is real. And it is, doctor. Believe me, the danger is very real. Uh, messages. Thank you much. Oh, it's what you pay me for. I don't expect gratitude. Something wrong? Oh, what could be wrong? I mean, just because I've slaved for this place for years and not complained about the long hours and poor wages, when a plum job comes up, I get passed over. Marge, I'm afraid I'm not with you. No, I'm only good enough to answer the phones. Your administrator has delegated all the arrangements for the opening of the new wing to young Kirsty. Oh, I see. Well, that doesn't seem entirely fair. It doesn't? I'll speak to Jenny. I'm sure that we can find something for you in the, uh, the festivities. Thank you. What do you reckon of it? Well, I don't know. Plans for a laser cannon. Or the microchip that'll take over the world. <laughs> Hoffman's a weird one. Yes, well, it seems to be our month for them. Well, you don't really think he's got anything to be paranoid about, do you? No, but I said I'd lock it up and uh, that's what I'm going to do. What the hell have you been telling Daryl Nielsen? <sighs> There's loyalty for you. He says you implied that he has multiple sclerosis. Yeah, well, he misunderstood. I don't think so. MS leaves an impression. Yeah, well, I, I didn't tell me he had it. I just didn't exactly rule it out as an option. You were trying to frighten him and you succeeded. So what? The man's slime. He deserves everything he gets. Wrong. He's a patient. He deserves our care and that's what he's going to get. Come on, Meredith. Why are you defending him? You know what he did to Kirsty. Well, how is making Daryl suffer going to make Kirsty any better now? He should be locked up behind bars. Agreed. But he wasn't. Steve, there's no room for revenge in medicine. If you don't know that by now, then you're in the wrong business. He looks terribly washed out, poor little lad. How's his mother doing? Well, she's gone across to the coffee shop to get something to eat. Not that she'll manage much. She's mm. dreadfully upset. There's nothing like a sick kid to make you feel helpless, eh? Did you ring Diane? Oh, yes, but she's uh, very busy just now. What with her new job and all. She's not bringing the kids in, is she? Afraid not. I had it all there for a while. Good wife, 
Good job, great kids. And I lost it. And now this. You've had a run of bad luck, Daryl. I came back to set things right, Mum. I thought that I could balance the books by helping you. And now it looks like it's going to be the other way around. I'm sorry. You're my son and I love you and I'm here to look after you. You're never going to change, are you? <clears> Hi, <throat> hey, I'm sorry. I've got to do a few blood tests. Oh, well. At least I can rest easy in knowing you're in good hands. Steve's one of our best. I'm just doing my job. And very well, too. I could be in much worse hands. Look, I hope you check in before coming around. I've been delayed because of surgery tonight, so tonight's off. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll call you tomorrow, OK? Bye. I hate talking to machines, especially ones like Felicity's with cute little messages on them. Yeah, too bad surgery interferes with your social life. Well, I just don't like letting people down, that's all. You don't have any qualms about letting me down, though, do you? Pardon? The Wilchris screw around pool. I bet for you, not against you. And it sounds like you would have got pretty good odds. Well. So who else was in on it? Well, you don't want to know that. Meredith, I know which way her money went. Uh, Jackie? Carrie? Guy, naturally. Alison? She bet on your side. <laughs> well, that's a surprise. Look. It was only a bit of fun. You've got to expect that with your reputation. I have changed. I don't sleep around anymore. Mm -hmm. OK, believe what you like. You're going to anyway. But Andrea slept in my bed and I slept on the couch. Guy hid her keys so she couldn't go home. The whole thing was a setup, And you have been had worse than me. What are you doing in here, girl? Snivelling. Henry. From his hotel in Sharjah, wishes I were there. All right, the Middle East tour. Mm. Do you wish you were there? I wish he hadn't slept with someone else. I wish I didn't have a sick feeling in my gut every time I think about it. That's two, you've got one left. I wish we could start again. You know, this is really easy for me to say. Feel free to hit me if you want. But you've got to move forward, Jack. There's no point dwelling on it. I know. I mean, that's why I hate things like this, because it's so boring. It's just a waste of time. Look, he wants to see me when he comes back, but I don't think I can. I'm too angry. I have to sort this out for myself. Well, you got me, girlfriend. <laughs> and I'm glad. <laughs> Interesting colour. Yeah, well, don't blame us. Gina chose it. Oh, you're making a good job of it, eh, Road? Thanks. Uh, got a break coming up? Probably. Well, why not pop over and see Daryl? He'd be glad of a friendly face. Well, what's the point of me going? Daryl's very sick, Stuart, and he is your brother. Well, he's got you chasing after him as usual. He doesn't need me, Mum. I'm disappointed in you. Oh, well. Good night, then. Good night. I, um, maybe he really is sick. So what? So, uh, how's it going, Randall? Where's the bag? Is it safe? Yes, all locked up. Look, I can leave the key in your bedside table so when you get no, back... No, no, it's, it's too dangerous. You keep it. OK, that'll make you feel better. And be careful, please. They'll be after you. Oh, I'm a big boy. I can take care of myself. Now, you just relax there and let that pre-med do its work, OK? Yeah, I'm getting a bit drowsy. That's the way. Who's he? Look, it's Get him out of okay, here! It's okay, it's just the cleaners. Don't trust anybody you don't know. They're everywhere, and they'll stop at nothing to get what you've got. Okay, Randall. Take it easy. How was your day? Oh, fine. Big night, Glenn. Hardly. I'm broke because of you. <laughs> yeah, at least you were on the side of the angels. Mm. Should have known better, right? I didn't sleep with Andrea. I made that mistake once before. Oh, what's the point? You don't believe me, do you? Nope. And what's more, I don't really care. I'm getting really sick of this. I mean, why does everybody always think the worst of me? 
Because it's generally true. Well, what's to say I can't change? And what's to say I can't be faithful to one woman for the rest of my life? Because you treat sex and relationships like one giant adventure playground. The more you score, the more of a man you are. I know it's pathetic, but it's predictable. Fine. Why don't I just jump into bed with the next woman who comes along? Huh? That way I'm not going to disappoint anyone. Hi, Mum. I'm off. No more too late. I won't. Have a nice evening. What's this? Working on plans for the opening? Oh, no, 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 no. You delegated that, didn't you? Well, I've had a good teacher. And Kirsty's managing very well. Yes, she's very efficient. I'll give her that. Like another lesson in management from the old master? I'm always open to suggestions. Well, there's more to administration than just delegation. You've got to keep your staff happy. Yes. Q-jumping juniors does not sit well with senior personnel. Marge is not a happy lady since you passed her over for this party project. Oh, dear. Still, I'm sure you've got the people skills to smooth any ruffled feathers before the situation gets totally out of control. No, no. She couldn't lock up everything. Want some? Mmm, tell. You know, Mum was right. There's something not quite right about these colours. Especially if you're supposed to go with a yellow trim. Yeah, well... No one ever said Gina was a style master. Mm. But you got the right colours. Yeah. And you matched them exactly. Yes, she only gave me little scrappy bits of paper, but I got as close as I could. What's your problem? She doesn't look right, that's all. It's because we're working under lights. Wait till you see it in the daytime, it'll be cool. Yeah, I guess. We got anything to drink with this? Not unless you can pick the padlock on the drink cabinet. Come on. Let's get back to work. We've got a deadline to meet. Coming. Felicity, hi. Hi, Chris. You look great. Thank you. Would you like a drink? Oh, yes, please. Do you like the dress? Mm. It's from my last job. <laughs> I, uh, I figured you hadn't been home yet. Why? Well, I only left a message on your answer phone to cancel your date. Late surgery. <laughs> That's what you get dating doctors. He said he's sorry and he'll call you tomorrow. Which doesn't do me a lot of good tonight. I hate going to parties dateless. I don't suppose you'd like to come along. It'd be fun. Media, advertising people. I promise you'd enjoy yourself. Yeah, sure, why not? My friends all think I'm a good time guy. Great, here's to a good time. I'm not too sure what the deal is with insurance on this Hoffman guy. Could you, um, check it out for me? Gladly, Jackie. It's nice to know that I have some uses after all, even if they are all mundane and boring. <laughs> not right now, thanks, Marge. Had a bad day administering, have we? And a good night to you, too. What was that all about? Oh, some of us get very swell-headed when we've had a promotion. Oh, how did it go with uh, Randall? Oh, pinned and plated. He's uh, sleeping off the anesthesia. What? No guards on the door to protect him from the bogeyman? Well, according to him, I'm the one that needs them. Well, then, you better watch your back. He could be right. <laughs> there are some very nasty things happening these days. Well, I'll just get out my bulletproof vest. <laughs> Good night, much. Night. Watch out for strangers. Sweetie, you'll feel better soon. One little drink? It'll get rid of that yucky taste. No, don't. All right. You tell me when you feel thirsty, OK? Let's get you cleaned up a bit. Don't. It's going to hurt. It's just nice warm water, Josh. It won't sting a bit, all right? No, stop. Josh, lie still, please. Hey. What's all this then, eh, soldier? He's still a bit upset from the biopsy. Well, we can't blame him for that, can we? Hey, 
Have you heard about the Red Army? No. Well, that's all this red stuff around where you're sore, you see. Now, they've been fighting the Battle of the Germ, but it's over now, and it's time to retreat. Yeah? Yeah. Now, that's what this water's for. It's for the mopping up exercise, do you understand? Now, it makes it all better again. You are the general. You get to give the orders. Permission to mop up, sir? What do I say? Permission granted. Permission granted. Sir? Thank you. You're very good with kids. Yeah, well, I've got a couple of my own. Sometimes it's a full-scale military operation to get them in the bath. I didn't realise. They haven't been in to visit. No. OK, Daryl, back to bed. Whoops, she's pulling rank. Thanks for your help. <sighs> there you go. OK now? Yeah, I'm fine. Look, um, I know that everyone around here believes I'm the enemy. And it's nice to think I've got an ally. Sorry? Oh, that serve you gave Mills for harassing me. I appreciate it.